Now, Senator McCain has proposed that the current veterans' health care system be replaced with a voucher system and that vets would be required to get their medical care from HMOs, insurance companies, and other private sector health care organizations. Do you think that sending vets into the private sector is a good idea? And uh, what's your reasoning for your opinion? Well, um, I think it uh, stems back to the, my first answer. Uh, you know, HMOs and, and private sec sector health care uh, would be great if they, you know, they were dealing with colds or uh, appendectomies or, you know, the, the, the common ailments that uh, most uh, American people deal with that aren't veterans. However, we're dealing with a huge, huge um, uh, different spectrum of, of medical problems that these folks are dealing with, the, the veterans are dealing with uh, loss of limbs, with uh, um, with the trauma brain injuries or, or just the stresses of everything else that they had to deal with in war. So um, I, I don't think uh, it, that the uh, private sector health care system uh, is prepared to deal with those people um, or the veterans. And um, uh, I, I think it'd be a huge mistake. You know, most of these, 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 these types of situations so far has turned out that everything that's been privatized has been abused, has been, has been uh, the person that it was supposed to help, uh, uh, they got not, not being fully aware of, 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 of what the deal is and how, the, how that stuff works, and so, and they get, and they get used up. And, 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 and taking abuse of and, and uh, taking advantage of. And uh, I, I think that uh, privatizing is not a good idea. I think it needs some oversight. I mean, if we could have some privatizing without, I mean, with oversight or something like this, maybe then, but if not. No, I do not. I really don't. Uh, privatizing that or placing that out there will just put more and more veterans out there without the available services that they need, the specific services they need. Um, they need proper counseling, they need counsel directed towards the problems they have, and it should be conducted and done by people who are aware of the problem and can handle it. Private corporations are just going to do it for how much money they can make. They're not going to be doing it with the care of the patient in mind. No, I don't. And why not? Uh, it, I mean, the private contractors have, you know, historically uh, went after the buck. Uh, and I don't, I just don't think that we should outsource something that vital uh, to private contractors who are, would probably be more concerned with making the buck than providing health care. I do not believe in contracting uh, any type of government agency because the government does a much better job when they hire civil service. They're dedicated, committed employees. Vet, uh, contractors are not. Contractors are there for the money and the profit and their employees are there just to get a daily paycheck. They don't care about the, the service that they're providing. The civil servant person is a career person, one that cares about their vets. They care about who they're taking care of. They have a career involvement, and they have uh, benefits for doing that, which are not that great, but they are building on them. Um, but no, I do not believe that that should be a uh, vouchering system. I do not like it. I think it's unfair to our vets. It would take away services. It would hinder them. No, I like the current VA system so long it was properly manned and properly uh, financed, and it would do a much better job. Absolutely not. And why not? I'm trying to think of all the reasons at once. <laughs> um, <laughs> the major issue is that it's the government's responsibility to take care of people. Privatization is, everybody has recognized that privatization and HMOs are a bureaucratic nightmare. And so just don't need to go have to go through that. I should say servicemen don't need to go through that. When they come back, there needs to be a system. And Marines too. <laughs> yeah, and Marines too. Uh, <laughs> There needs to be a system set up in place. It's a non, there needs to be a non-adversarial system where service members can come home and receive the care that they need via the government, not via somebody who's making profit off of the deal. I think it's probably one of the most terrible ideas I've heard in a long time. Uh, there's two things wrong with that. A, 
Insurance companies and HMOs in private health care have not expanded health care coverage for Americans. Currently, there are tens of millions of Americans without health care coverage, and the number goes up every day. So private health care has uh, really demonstrated that it is the least efficient way to deliver health care to Americans as a whole. Additionally, what I find wrong with that and offensive about that is uh, in the past eight years, there has been a major push by the current administration and their uh, congressional partners to privatize basic functions of government. Amongst these is the horrible and appalling use of contractors in Iraq. Uh, and uh, that's gone horribly. To date, 14 uh, active duty service members have been electrocuted by uh, KBR installed uh, you know, electrical components in Iraq. Uh, we, had, uh, we had Blackwater and their subsidiaries delivering tainted water to our troops in Iraq that was not fit for drinking or for sanitary use. Uh, we had uh, Halliburton billing taxpayers for troops that weren't fed. And uh, to transfer a basic necessity, a basic right of veterans to a private... Uh, organization takes the honor out of it and it's offensive to, to me as a veteran and to, to as someone who uses the VA system it's appalling and it's offensive